These days, tamanduas are most often seen dead along the road. A very sad sight. Of course, now there are more roads, wider roads, and faster cars. This is an animal that has evolved for millions of years to live in the trees. And while it does forage on the ground, its running skills are not the greatest. Deforestation has left a patchy environment, which makes it difficult for tamanduas. If you do find a tamandua on or near a road, help it get across or take it away from the road. They don't have teeth, but watch out for those claws. If a tamandua is attacked by a natural predator, it rears up and flares out its claws. That seemed to work. This four and a half kilo arboreal animal lives from southern Mexico to Peru and over to Venezuela and lives in the lowlands up to about 1600 meters. They can be active in the day or night, but according to one study, are active about eight hours a day. Must be a union thing. I hope that's not dandruff. A study of tamanduas in Panama showed a home range of 25 hectares, although a study of the southern tamandua, another species, had a home range of 400 hectares. Size probably is dependent on availability of ants and termites, the main food of both species. For many animals, the intense heat of midday is the time to rest. Tamanduas just have one young per year, which leaves her mother when she's about half its size. Its front claws are perfectly adapted to rip open termite nests. She's dreaming of an immense termite nest. Anteaters don't have teeth, but they have long, sticky tongues. Ants and termites are abundant in the tropics. Large termite nests, like this one, are found throughout the forest. Tamandua's diet, according to one study, is two-thirds termites and one-third ants. Individuals that spend more time in the trees eat more ants, and those that stay more on the ground eat more termites. There are many species of termites. They can eat 9,000 termites and ants in one day while visiting 50 to 80 colonies. This one is probably not enjoying a fermented coconut drink, but rather eating ants inside the coconut. Salud!